Your career has been a, a remarkable journey, but it finished in, in a glorious position as, as captain of England, which isn't establishment, but it's highly respected and it's, it's hugely sort of uh, powerful within the sport. I'm presuming at this point you've got no real intention of going into the Blazer Brigade and administration and the, the corridors of power, or am I wrong in that? Do you want to get in there and shake um, it up? I don't think my face really ever fit um, in terms of even just being an, an English player. Um, and because of my disciplinary, I probably um, wasn't accepted and, and having the wrong accent and, and those sorts of circles, I, I definitely felt potentially as an out, outsider. Um, and there's little things like, I remember going to, to, to every England game um, and I never had my family there with me. My parents were never there because they're always in New Zealand. So I was always just by myself. Even the day I got capped, I was just there by myself and I got capped and you just, just move on. When everyone else has got their parents there and it's all the whole blazer thing. And even at the, with the captaincy thing, um, I remember doing a, a speech and I'd always been pissed off that Chris Robshaw was kind of given a speech to read out after the game of who he had to, who he had to thank and, and, and whatnot. And I was like, fuck that. Like, you know, I just want to do it my way and, and get up and just keep it short and sharp. And from, from you know, schoolboy rugby, I'd always just learn to, to thank the opposition, thank the referees and, and thank the dinner ladies for, for putting on the spread. So I just did that. And within t- kind of two weeks of doing the job and doing that, I got a few kind of nods from the boys with that, almost saying like, well done deals with keeping it short and sharp. And then um, one of the council members came up to me, shook my hand. And like, I went to walk away and like, held my hand. And he was like, you need to change what you're saying on the stage. You need to thank the committee members. And I was like, you're taking the piss. And he's like, no, no, you need to commit, um, thank the committee members who've traveled here to Italy to watch you play. And I was like, you're taking the piss, mate. And then it basically got to a point where I thanked the traveling president maybe um, to, to meet halfway. But just being met with that sort of um, that attitude, I suppose, um, I, I, thought, I thought it was quite strange. But yeah, in terms of politics, not really keen for it unless they're going to pay me a whole lot of cash.